Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a young lady just posted this file. And first of all, it's it's the it's a PNG, so she needs to trace it first. So just go to you can go to Bitmap and or go down to Bitmap and then do an outline trace. And I always use clip art. Takes just a second, and it traced pretty good. It's pretty clean. So I've got a, I made a copy of it in case something messes up. So I've got it there and it's, it's, it's pretty clean. I would still do some cleaning up on these edges, but she wanted to cut out and I'm just going to move these out of the way because I've got the exact same one. So you right here, you can see the difference between the, the sharpness of the two files. So we've got a good, clean, sharp file. Now there's a lot of ways you do this. You know, you could break it apart, break the curve apart, and get that shape. And the boundary tool or the contour tool isn't going to work in this case on this particular item. Okay, this saw is four inches tall, so I'm going to set my nudge factor on five or my nudge distance on five. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do this, but this is one way you could do this make you a boundary box. Take your smart fill tool and fill it in with yellow or any color. Then let's move our boundary box down. Then take your smart fill tool and use a different color. Let's make it red. And then just move this over, this red one over, and then put right click your. Uh, or left click your mouse and then right click and then make sure it's a hairline. Now, because of the fact that we've used our arrow keys to move over, that's going to go right back in place. So now you have the cutout of the outside of the saw with a hairline. You can barely see it, but there it is. Now do the same thing with the inside of the saw. Take your Smart fill tool, fill in that, move it over, left click or right click, no fill, left click outline, and move it back to four inches. Now this will all engrave. I would clean it up a little bit, you know, take out this sharp point, and that's easily done with the shaping tool. Uh, just grab that node with your shape tool and just delete it. And just kind of look over the whole thing. I'd take out that one. But other than that, it's ready to go. It will engrave and cut. Anyway, I hope that helped her a little bit. Hope you learned a little bit. And thank you for watching.